Hey guys, Washington Menus here. And today we're gonna to be making baked crusted fish topped with crab meat and a little Parmesan. The ingredients that you will need is get you some fish and I chose to use flounder, some breadcrumbs, some crab meat, stick of butter, some Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, and blackening seasoning. Make sure your hands are clean and let's get started. First, we're gonna take us a tablespoon of butter and you can either use the microwave or the stove, but you wanna make sure you get to nice and melt and hot. And you're gonna take that melted butter and brush it all over the top of the fish. The melted butter being that it's hot will allow the seasonings to soak in and the butter also gives the fish a little bit of extra flavor. Next, we're gonna take us some blackening seasoning. And blackening seasoning gives it a little kick. So if you don't like spicy foods, feel free to omit this and use a different seasoning like just salt or black pepper. Now I'm gonna be using two or three coats of seasoning on this fish cause I like mine to have a little bit of hotness to it. Now you don't wanna season the bottom of the fish because if you season the bottom of the fish, it'll make it a little too salty. So just season the top as much as you like. And trust me, it will get enough seasoning throughout the top and the bottom. Next, I'm going in with my crab meat. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of the chunks of crab meat on top. And as I put them on top, I'm gonna gently press it into the fish. And I do mean gently. You don't wanna break up your fish before you eat it. You just wanna put them on top like so and gently press them into the fish. We're gonna add some melted butter on top to make sure that the crab meat flavor gets into the fish. So if you don't think it's getting enough flavor, it will. Now I'm only adding the meat to the thickest part of the fish because as you can see the tail is very thin but feel free to add it all over if you like. Now we're going to take an ingredient that I didn't mention, some obe, and we're going to sprinkle on for the top of the fish. Obe gives seafood a very good taste. Next, we're gonna go in with our garlic powder and we're just gonna sprinkle it. We don't have to do too heavy, just a little sprinkle. Next, we're gonna take our breadcrumbs and we're gonna sprinkle over the top of the fish. Now, we're just gonna do a little bit because breadcrumbs can get a little messy. So we're just gonna sprinkle over just a little top and then when we transfer to our pan, we'll sprinkle more breadcrumbs over the entire fish. Now you wanna get your oven nice and hot and preheated to about 375 degrees. Now to a tin foil pan, take some of that melted butter and brush the foil with the butter. Just a thin layer is enough. This will allow the fish to not stick and easy to lift when it's done cooking. I hope you all are doing all right out there. It's starting to get a little cold here and the holidays are just around the corner. Let me know in the comment sections, are you ready for the holidays and what you got planned? Now we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna gently place it onto the foil, leaving some space in between them. You don't want your fish cooking on top of each other. Now, as I said before, we're gonna take the rest of those breadcrumbs and we're gonna cover the entire fish with them. We're not gonna leave any spaces available. If you're enjoying this video right here, 
hey give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification button so you can be notified every time i upload one of these videos now this is my favorite part we're going to sprinkle some parmesan cheese on top and i love cheese guys so i'm going to put probably a little bit extra but feel free to limit to the amount that you only need for your family now we're going to take the leftover melted butter and we're going to drizzle over the top of the fish just like so here it's going to make sure that the meat the breadcrumbs and even the fish in case you missed a little bit to have nice butter coating now our oven is nice and hot and we're going to go ahead and place our tray in a center rack for about 15 minutes now don't place it at the bottom guys because it will burn now for this dish i have decided to have broccoli with it and my broccoli has been cleaned but this dish will also go great with a salad some corn or even a baked potato And here I'm just breaking up into little small crowns. And I'll probably cut off a little bit of the stem. I don't really care too much of a lot of stem. And we're gonna take this broccoli and you can steam or boil it for at least three to four minutes. You don't wanna overcook your broccoli. I like my broccoli to have just a little bit of crunch but also be soft. Now I've taken our fish out the oven and I like to check the center and make sure it's at least 165 degrees with the thermometer. And there you go guys, look at it. Top with some nice parsley. It should be nice, has the crunchy taste. Go ahead and grab your fork and just dig on in. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.